guys so today's video we are going to be trying out a bunch of new makeup items I was cleaning out my drawers and I have this one drawer where I just like put away new items that I'm telling myself like I'm gonna use this and while I was cleaning that drawer out I realized that I've had all of these items for so long and I still haven't used any of them so I thought I would just gather as much items in this drawer and just try them out on camera for you guys. That drawer was getting a little bit clustered and I just want to try out new products. I feel like I've been doing so many ColourPop videos that maybe some of you guys want to see something a little bit different from me. So yeah, a lot of these items are not new items, they're just new to me. So they've been in the market for a very long time. And also this is not a full face. It is almost a full face, but not exactly a full face. So the first item that I wanted to try out is this sponge. It's from Life Basics by Nourish Life. It's a makeup blender sponge. The shape is very similar to a beauty blender. I haven't used a beauty blender in how long because I don't want to spend $30 on a sponge when I can just get the real Techniques one. This one here. I mean, we'll see how it goes. It's very, very dense. Like me just trying to squeeze the water out of this was very hard. So we'll see how it goes. I really do like the shape of the original like Beauty Blender sponge, how it's very pointy. So we'll, we'll use this, a new tool. And I've had this foundation for like the longest time. This is the e.l.f. Oil Free SPF 15 sunscreen. I don't even know what this is actually called. But it's in the shade Sand. I actually got this foundation wanting to do like a first impressions video on it. But I've had it for so long and I'm like, you're probably not going to end up doing that video. So why not just try it, okay? Oh, that pump is a lot. It looks pretty thick. If you guys are wondering about these little plasters on my wrist, I just went to go get my tattooed laser off yesterday. I've been doing it for a long time now, but if you're wondering, that's what it is. I'm just gonna apply it with my brush first. Wow, that is so much lighter than me. I'm gonna take my sponge and just... Do you hear that? I feel like I'm punching myself. This is like the stiffest thing ever. I mean, it's blending in the foundation. It's not leaving any streaks or anything. It's just like a little bit rough to the to the face, you know? As for the foundation, it seems very dewy, which I personally don't like. And it doesn't seem to be like full coverage. I'm gonna say this is like a light coverage. Still can see my scars very clearly. It's just kind of evening out my skin tone almost. I think my mom would like this and I, she's a lot lighter than me. So I might pass it on to her and see how she likes it. Already, I just can tell I'm not gonna like this foundation. Anyway, I don't have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Golden Beige. And I'm gonna put this under my eyes. Do you see? That is what I want. It's like very golden, very yellow. And I'm just gonna put it in the areas where I need a bit more coverage, which is pretty much everywhere else on my face because I have been breaking out a lot. It looks like I have a lot of acne, but a lot of it is actually just scars. I do have like two pimples, but the rest are definitely just scars. And so it makes it look like I have a lot of acne. We're just going through some things right now, you know. Some of you guys commented on my video suggesting that it could have been this concealer that was breaking me out. So I took your suggestion in and I stopped using it for a long time. Not a long time, for like two weeks. I was using the ColourPop one instead and I was still getting breakouts. So that just shows me that it wasn't this foundation that's breaking me out. I really I really do think it's just the food that I've been eating and life and stress, so. But then you guys were letting me know, I did try it out and I don't think it's this concealer. Okay, so this sponge, it's not bad, like it, it's doing the job, it's just very very dense and like very tough on the skin, like I'm really pouncing my skin in. If it was a little bit softer, then I think this is actually a great sponge, but I mean if you're into like more denser sponges, then you probably like this one a lot. I'm so dewy. I don't like this. Give me some powder. I need my powder. So for my powder, it's not new. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. My favorite powder recently. I'm gonna use this to sit under my eyes and just kind of like my T-zone area. I like to put the powder in this cheek area where I have a bit more pores and it kind of just hides the pores as well. Before I set the rest on my face, so I didn't put any powder in my cheek area because we're going to be using this NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette in the shade Light. I got gifted a lot of these when I was in the NYX Face Awards last year. I'm not a person that likes to cream contour, 
but we'll give it a go. I can't believe the next face awards was like almost a year ago. I'm gonna be using the Sigma F79 and I'm just gonna I really don't know how to cream contour guys, so we'll see how this goes. Seems a bit grey on me. I mean, on the viewfinder, it looks pretty good, I guess. But now I'm gonna set that in place using this ALF bronzer palette in the shade Bronze Beauty. I've used the contour kit and I really like that, so I haven't tried this one out. Just because a lot of the bronzes in here seem a bit shimmery, I'm gonna go with this one. It seems a bit dark, but it seems like it doesn't have that much glitter in it, so we'll use this to go over that contour. like that was way too dark. Maybe it just seems really intense right now because I don't have any other makeup on. Maybe when our whole face is done, we can see how it looks. But just to set the rest of my face, like the sides of my forehead and on my chin, I'm just gonna use, oh, I'm just gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder in the shade Medium Dark. So now I'm just gonna go off camera and just fill in my brows and then I'll come back and we can start on our eye look. All right, so my brows are now on. What do you guys think of my brows? I filled them in a little bit darker just because I don't know why I was filling them in dark brown when my hair is like pitch black. I feel like this suits my hair color a lot more. But let me know what you guys think. Is it a little bit too... But too dark, I don't know. Anyway, moving on to the eyes. I have a bunch of new items that I want to try. So I have this palette from NYX. It's the go-to palette. I'm not sure if I'm going to use any of the eyeshadows. I think I'll use the highlighter later on. So we'll still use that. But for this eye look, I don't think I'm going to use that palette. I really wanted to try the NYX um, glitter primer. I have the pigment primer. That's really great. But I haven't tried the glitter one. I also have some of these NYX single shades shadows and then I also have this loose glitter from Violet Voss. I've had this for so long now and I still haven't used it so I'm like I'm gonna use it today so I'm gonna kind of create a look based off these eyeshadows. So first I'm gonna take this little single eyeshadow from NYX. It's called LOL and I'm gonna use this as our transition shadow. I haven't used any of these single shadows before so we'll see how it works. Okay it comes off quite sheer. Like, you really need to build this product up. But it blends out really easily. It's not hard to blend out. I don't see it being patchy either, which is great. If you're a beginner, I think it's better if a shadow is buildable because you'll just avoid less mistakes, you know? So if you're a beginner, I think it's a great way to go. I'm just going to go into this Wet n Wild palette, Rosé in the Air. Technically, this is new. I haven't used this palette yet. I'm going to do a video on it, so I didn't really want to include it in today's video, but I need some mattes. So I'm just going to take this shade here and I'm going to use it in the outer corner. I'm also going to take that same dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to run that on my lower lash line. I'm going to use this single shadow called Gold Lust. I just kind of want to use this as a base for the gold glitter because this seems like a little bit chunkier. I want something underneath it to still make it stand out. I'm just going to wet my brush. You could honestly leave it like this and if you don't want to put the glitter on. But because I want to try new products in today's video, this is what we're going to be doing. There's like really subtle glitters in there, like very micro glitters. And the way it shimmers, it looks super pretty. I like that a lot. This shadow is actually super pretty. Like if you wanted to buy this on its own, oh, don't mind if I do. I'm very impressed with that. If you wanted to leave it like this, it's a beautiful look, very easy. Only three eyeshadows. Okay, now time for the glitter and the glitter primer. So I can see you can use it multiple ways. You can use it on your lips, glitter liner. I think I'll put some on my eyes and then some on my brush. That way it can pick up the glitter. So this glitter is from Violet Voss. It's called a Champagne Kisses. I'm just gonna apply some on the back of my hand first. Okay, let's apply some on my eye.
The good thing with this is that you don't get any fallout under your eyes and usually with glitter you will tend to get more fallout. Although this is like more of a chunkier glitter, still there isn't much fallout. I mean that's pretty. A bit out there. I feel like I should have used a little bit less glitter. But hey, first time. Wow, it's really reflective. Like you can see the difference from this eye and this eye. The difference from just a shadow and when you put glitter on top. So I think the easiest way to use this is just apply on the back of your hand, use your brush, dip it into the glitter and apply it directly onto your eye. So for the glitter, I think it works great. It's very easy to use. I would say if you're using it for the first time, just try like on the back of your hand. I feel like you do need a little bit of practice using it beforehand and once you get used to it, it is very easy to use. And now I want to try the Jelly Mudge eyeshadow. This is in the shade We Jammin. I'm going to use this in my in a corner highlight and see how that works. Wow. That is super blinding. I'm just gonna use a little bit, okay? I don't wanna use too much. I feel like the glitter is already so intense. So now I'm actually just gonna go off camera. I'm gonna give myself a wing liner, but I just wanna do that off camera, really focus on it. And then we'll come back and finish off the rest of the face. So like I mentioned, I just went off camera and gave myself a wing liner. I also tight lined my bottom lash line with my Artisy in Moistar Eyeliner, the eyeliner that I use literally all the time. My wing eyeliner is the Inglot one, AMC. 77 as Ollie, but I have a new mascara that I want to try out. This one is from In A Ka Long Lash Mascara. I've actually never really heard of this brand. I got this in like a box of makeup that was sent along with like this sponge as well. It was like a bunch of like cruelty free and vegan products. So this is what the one looks like. The formula seems very thick, which I actually like, and this seems grateful, like the lower lash. I would say it really separates the lashes. It doesn't make them seem thicker or clumpy, really separates and lengthens. Zooming back out, we're going to move back on to the face and the next step is a blush since we already done our bronzer. I'll be using the NYX Baked Blush in the shade Solutus. Probably saying that wrong. It's like a little bit of a sheen to it and with the foundation I'm wearing today, it's not really like ideal because I just look even more dewy. And then for my highlighter, I'm gonna use that shade in this NYX go-to palette, LA palette is what it's called. It's a really pretty formula. If you like more like metallic highlights and not really like glittery highlights, then you definitely will like this one. These kind of highlights, I feel like don't really emphasize any texture on the skin, which is great. For my last step is a lip color. I have these three here to choose from. I think I might go for this one because it matches the eye look. So this is the NYX Simply Nude Lip Cream. I feel like that is way too nude. No. I'm gonna go for this one. It's their Jumbo Lip Pencil in the shade Pecan. Why is Drexel so hard to open everything? Like, but can you help me open something? Oh, this doesn't smell good. Okay, no, 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 it smells very chemically. You know what, I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna use a gloss, okay? Actually, I'll just use this. I'll use the Dose of Colors, my main liquid lipstick. Alright guys, so this is the final look completed. I actually liked how this look turned out. There were some things that I didn't like, but for the most part, the eye look, I really like the glitter and the eyeshadows all together. So hopefully you guys like it as well. But now I just want to kind of give my final first impressions of each product. So first starting off with the beauty sponge. It did its job. It blended out my foundation, concealer, everything very nicely. I just think it's a little bit too dense of a sponge that it actually hurts when you're pouncing on your foundation. So for me, if it was a bit softer, I definitely would have liked it. For the e.l.f. foundation, I actually like how it sits on my skin. I think it looks really great on my skin. It's just a little bit too dewy for me. It is extremely dewy. Like I don't like how my skin 
skin is looking right now. It's just too dewy for my liking. The way it looks on my skin, like my texture and everything like that, I think it looks great. So if you're looking for like a lightweight, dewy foundation, then you might like this one. Although the scent is very heavy, you just want to keep that in mind. But overall, it's not a bad foundation. I can see how some people could like this. But for my preferences, it's just not to my liking. For the cream contour, I only got to use one of the shades and I actually feel like this one was a little bit dark. I feel like my contour is a little bit patchy and I do think it's because of this. So I'm gonna pass this one on and see if any of my friends would like it since I only dipped it into once. For the e.l.f. bronzing palette, I want to give this one another shot. I feel like because of the cream contour, I couldn't really see its performance. I've used the contour palette before and I really like that so I'm hoping that this one is the same. So I'm gonna give this one another go. I don't want to give up on it entirely. But now we move on to the eyes. I think the NYX single eyeshadows are actually really great. I don't know how much they are so that will really depend. But if they are super affordable, I would highly recommend you get them. Especially the gold one called Gold Lust. This one is really, really pretty on the eyes. I'm curious to see what other shades they have but they work really good. And for the glitter primer with the Violet Voss glitter they worked perfectly. It was very easy to maneuver. You just gotta get used to it a little bit. So like I said just try on the back of your hand and see how that goes for us but I love this glitter I love how it looks on the eyes I definitely want to see what other glitters they have from Violet Voss or just glitters in general as well as the jelly much although I only used it in my inner corners I want to really see how it works on my eyes so I have other shades that I want to use as well so maybe I'll create an eye look using all of them but so far it's really great for the mascara honestly mascaras are mascaras to me like I don't really care too much I would probably just go for the Colourpop one for the rest of my life because it's affordable and it works great. But this one, I think this brand might be like vegan or cruelty free. I just remember that box that I got was like full of cruelty free and vegan products. So maybe this one is as well. So if that's something very important to you, maybe you want to check out this brand. I don't think it's a bad mascara. I've tried worse. It really just separates your lashes. It's not going to give you that thickness and clumpiness that I like for my lashes. And then we move on to the NYX Baked blush. It's a blush that I can see myself wearing more often. Maybe when I'm wearing my base products that I'm used to where it's like a matte base and then if you want like a bit of shimmer in your cheek area this would be a good option. I'm definitely going to try this out with my like typical everyday makeup. As for this palette I only got to use the highlighter which I actually really like and the blush and the bronzers seem pretty good too. For the eyeshadows they don't really spark that much interest because they are all shimmers. You know, it doesn't come with any mattes, so you definitely would have to use another palette with this. As for the two lip colors that I attempted to try, for the Jumbo Lip Pencil, I think my one just went bad or something because it literally smelled like chemicals, it was so hard to open, and the shade is just not my cup of tea. And then for the Simply Nude Lip Crayon, it's a really good formula. It's very creamy, very smooth, very pigmented, but the shade is just way too light for my liking. So these two, I just not my favorite. But this guys is going to conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful and enjoyed something a little bit different on my channel. Definitely when I have more products to try out I will do a part two to this video as well. If you guys did enjoy the video be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. If you guys have tried any of these items let me know what you guys think of them, if you agree or disagree. And with that being said that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!